Um, today's video, I just want to do a short video to show you just what happens to our bottles. Hello legends and super legends. Welcome to Villa Harmony. I have a bunch of bottles. You know, they're, they're inexpensive. Over time, I've accumulated them. But uh, I still like to take care of stuff and not be wasteful. But this is what happens to our bottles after a while. So this is after about three months. Um, these are the bottles that I use. I used in the, the mall that Paul and I have been doing. Um, we, I use them all year, in winter, summer, whatever. But uh, I was about to load them um, after last weekend's ride, and I just noticed that you know I cleaned them at least once a week. And so I was doing the weekly cleaning, and then I noticed there's a lot of crap on the inside, you can see. Let's see if the light will help. Looks a little black in there. And I'm like, hmm, let me check this out. There's another one here. Let's see, maybe this will. I'm trying to see if you can see what I saw. Right there. That's like a little black spot in there. Right there. I noticed that. I was like, okay, let's go get it clean. Because sometimes I'll clean it twice a week. Let me take off the cap. So you can see what I'm talking about. I'm going to place the camera down. I have to hold the camera and do this. So for example, I took off the cap. You look in there. It's relatively clean because I clean this weekly. I don't play. But look inside there. You can see that little, the, the white nipple thing. Got a little bit of a black ring of dirt on there. Even though I clean in there, that's not enough. So about maybe once a month or so, this is what I do, and that's what I want to film today. You can see that has a bit of dirt in there. So even though I use the brush, this is what I use. I use this sometimes because it's very stiff. It's got good bristles. and Or I use this. I have two of them. So let me move and put this over someplace where you can see. So I'm, I will bring the camera closer. What I want to do is I'm going to pop this out. Basically, you pull this out. It just comes out on this bottle. And maybe I should bring it closer to the other one. Uh, let me bring it over here. This one is harder. You basically have to lift this plastic thing. You can see in there, I don't know if this will show very well. Let me come on this side and see, yeah. In there is black. It's not supposed to be that black. My daughter's been using this to drink Gatorade over time, and she'll leave the stuff and not bring it into the kitchen to be clean. I don't ride with this bottle. You can see how under this clear thing it looks black. That's not supposed to be black. She's just she put it somewhere in the sack for the longest time, and I saw it sitting in an odd spot, and decided to bring it up and make while I was making this video. But this thing comes out. I'm gonna get one of my bread knives. Let me get the bread knife here. Get the bread knife and pop this out. Because it's dirty. My little daughter MJ uses it to drink Gatorade. So I want to clean it. So I just lifted the, the lip of this. And there it comes out. I hope you guys were able to see that. You kinda, it sits on there and then you lift the lip. So now in here is the spout. But it's got other things on here that you see those spots. That's just a grip. Okay, so it's not as bad as I thought, but let me turn this one so you can see. There's stuff in there. See that little black mark on the inside there? That's mold and stuff that's growing from the Gatorade we put in here. So I gotta clean that out. So I'm gonna put that over here. And these are the Elite bottle caps that I pulled. They just kind of come out. Look at them. They're supposed to be white. Look at, look at all the gunk that you don't see that's inside. You gotta clean that at least once a month. Uh, inside is black. That's the same crap you're looking at. It's all, it's supposed to be white. I got the sink full of soapy water. It's gonna be washed. Let me ask my daughter to help me. Come here, bring me a, bring me a little stool. I ask her to help me hold the camera so I can show you guys while I wash this. So all I'm gonna do is put this in the soapy water. I'm gonna wash this as usual. This is, you don't have to be worried about this one. It's easy to clean. It's the little nipple that I took out. 
Yeah, put your stool over there. I got extra hands here that's gonna make a difference. So now what I want you to do is hold this. That's what I want you to do. Hold where my hand is here. Yeah, take that. There you go. Now I want you to just, yeah, focus it on the sink so what I'm doing can be shown. Okay, so my daughters are up early this morning. It's about 7.04 in 10 minutes. I gotta get ready to go to school. But you see here, so this thing here, look at that in there. That's what she drinks Gatorade out of. So I'm gonna clean that. That's mold growing. It grows over time and you gotta clean that. So for example, remember now, keep the camera here. There you go. If you can't see it, they can't see it, okay? So now I'm gonna use this stiff bristle one to see if it gets that out. Just to show you guys real quickly. It came out very easily, look. Now it's gone. The little black thing that was in there is gone. So all that, see right there, there's a little black mark. I gotta get rid of that. That's mold. So I'm gonna use the bristles. You just hold it there. I'll, I'll, okay, I think it's gone. I'm gonna rinse it out again and just, just to show them. So now look, it comes out very easily, but you can't, you can't access, it, access that when it's on the bottle. So about once a month, you wanna take that off and clean it. So here's the cap that it sits on, and this just kinda goes, you rinse this. This just goes over it like this, almost like a cover for the cap. And then you squeeze the bottle and it just pops into your mouth. All of this stuff here, when I take this out now, I use the opportunity to clean around it. Because normally when I clean, when you clean, you can access in here. There's nothing there. But just that cover, and it, it's almost like a like you could put something in there. I don't put anything sharp in there because I don't want to ruin that. So you want to clean this cap periodically okay let me leave that in there now for these guys I normally clean this twice a week easy especially if you use uh, like sports drinks and Gatorade and other things if you just use water it's not that that much of a requirement there you just want to make sure that it gets a chance to dry out so that's all it is and so this little cap for those of you who did not see it very well because I was doing it without help this cap just pops on there and you just push it down well this cap is supposed to be white now look at the color all of that stuff is stuff you don't want on your on your nipple that you drink from it comes from the sugars and all of that so that's what i'm going to show you how to clean today so these three what i'm going to do now is let me rinse it off so they can see i'm going to wash it in the soapy water i just used dawn just whatever dishwashing liquid you use. Since it's out, I'm just gonna clean. You're not gonna. It's not gonna get clean with what I'm doing. I'm just gonna. Cl I'm just cleaning surface stuff. Cause how often do you get to clean this inside? You can't. You can't even reach it. And this is what that is. So you want to wash it as best as you can. And you can see some of the stuff appears to be coming off as I wash. Right there. Look, you see, you see that, Constance? Mm -hmm. I cleaned a little bit. I'll take this. You can use whatever you have in the house. And you, you just want to get as much as you can that will come off. Just wash it with soap like this. This is the stuff we drink through. So about once a month. Some people go longer. Uh, this is about 45 days after, after cleaning it in the past that all this stuff accumulated. And what I want to show you before I put it in the final solution that I use to really clean it out is that by, by taking it out like I did and washing it. And while she's holding the camera, I'm going to show you how I take it out. Because I don't think when I was doing it individually, it may have shown up very well. So since MJ is holding this, I'm going to show you. It's normally, let's rinse this off. It's in your bottle like this. These are, these are the elite bottle types. This is the way it is normally. So when you're drinking, you pull this up and you drink. To take it out of there like I did, you can see it's already a lot wider because I've washed it now. To take it out like I did, you just pull it. It comes out. That's it. That's what I want to get rid of, that, that brown part. This, this was all clear white plastic. So what we're going to do to solve that issue, we're going to put this in here. I'll put some water in there, enough to cover it. I'm gonna set it right here, right there, okay. This is 
bleach. That's just bleach. We keep bleach in the kitchen in, in this container, wherever you have your bleach. And so what I'm going to do is you want to put maybe 500 milliliters, like enough of like if you're taking a, a dose of something, just, just maybe a teaspoon. That's about the amount I'm going to put in. You don't need a lot. The bleach will mix with the water. And we're going to do a before and after. I want you to look at this carefully. You can see how it looks. It is not going to ever be completely white like the top. But you're going to see after a, after a certain amount of hours what's going to happen. I just have this in here for disinfection because this one's already clean. It didn't have that problem. It's just there for disinfection. This one here needs to be cleaned. These two. The Elite Bottle Types tops really have that problem so that's what we're doing so we're going to come back and film this after it has had a chance to sit for a certain number of hours i wanted to show i wanted to show you guys this remember now this is the same cap that looked gray because i removed that cover and washed it look at it the color is actually blue let me turn this way maybe the light will show it better look at that it's a blue cap that looked gray because of all the mold and stuff that had grown in there. My daughter uses this with Gatorade. And with that plastic cover over it, you can't clean it. This is the plastic cover I'm talking about right here. Those of you who use the, um, this box, this bottle is made by, uh, let's see, this is the Rafa one. I don't use it anymore, but uh, Camelback. And you just squeeze the bottle and it, this spout is designed to just shoot the liquid in your mouth. But look at how a blue cap was gray before. So I'll do like a little side by side when I do it in post production. So you can see what it looked like before and after. But that's why you got to remove that cap like I did with the knife. Or whatever tool you have to get under it without tearing it and lift it, lift the cover off. Periodically clean that. If you're using this on the bike. I would recommend you clean that at least monthly by removing the cap. Now you're going to clean it weekly or more, maybe sometimes two, three times a week if you use a lot of um, sports drinks in it, a couple of times a week minimum. And then uh, once a month, take off that cover and clean it. All I did was wash it with the sponge you see down there. That's it, because you can now access it. Okay? Okay, all. This is uh, eight hours later. It's about 3.15 in the afternoon, and this thing's been sitting in the solution. I went for a ride, worked in the office, and you can see the difference. It is never going to be perfectly white because of the, just, you know, when sugar dries, any kind of sweet stuff, it, it just darkens. And I guess, you know, since it's made from molasses, but anyway, that's what you're seeing here. Let's see here. Uh, you can see big improvement even in there but the biggest thing is that by soaking it in bleach you get it disinfected so whatever was growing or maybe growing or not growing I don't really know that's just shadows you're seeing in there the inside is the same color as down here kind of a, a little bit of a gray stain is on the plastic plastic absorbs stuff so it will never be perfectly white. But this is what you want to do about once a month to your bottles.